Greetings, it's Ian from RTO. Welcome to a pick and mix. Um, when you, we don't know what we're going to get. But today we have got, we're taking a wander down the sidewalk. Which means we're going to look at an American top 10. On this day and the year, when we spin the wheel, came up with 1956. So it's... 67 years ago. So if it is your birthday today, happy birthday. Um, just no matter where I am in the world, happy birthday from me. In 1956, on the 16th of November, was a Friday. Mm. It was a leap year, and I do believe the Summer Olympics were in Helsinki that year. The President of the United States was Dwight B. Eisenhower and he just started, he just won an election so he was um, starting his second term. And baby boomer generation, your star sign today is Scorpio and your Chinese zodiac is the monkey. So what? What happened on this day? Well, not a lot. The only person that has a birthday today is um, stock car, NASCAR racer, Terry Labonte. So we've had to go dive down in the history to find other thing called things. Now this must be one of the oldest birthdays I've uh, mentioned. Born in 42 BC, Emperor Tiberius. 1907, Burgess Meredith, known to a lot of us as the Penguin, and of course Mickey in the Rocky movies. Also celebrating a birthday today is British boxer and personality Frank Bruno. You know what I mean, Harry? He was his catchphrase. Bits of history today. These are interesting ones. 1914. The Federal Reserve was founded in the United States. 1920. Qantas, the airline, was founded. I remember that uh, advert. Remember Qantas? What a stupid way to spell it. Uh, it was founded on this day. And in 1945 was the formation of UNESCO. So there, that's a few bits of history of what happened on the 16th of November um, because we haven't got much to go on for the day very boring day in 1956 but we're always here for the music really so let's have a look at the top 10 singles on the 16th of November 1956 in the United States so at number 10 it was down one place and it was Pat Boone's friendly persuasion. This had already peaked at number five in in America. Actually got to number three here in the um, UK. Um, I like this song. Uh, one of my nan's favourite singers. So I heard quite a lot of it growing up. He's a bit of a crooner. It's not a bad song, is it? Pretty good. Okay, number nine, down three places. Hugo Winterhalter and his orchestra and Canadian Sunset. This has been at number two. A lot of people have covered this. Floyd Kramer, Sam Cooke, Horst Jawanski, and most recently Earl Clough in 2008. So this song has been, comes up now and again. It's a sort of a jazzy thing. I love the piano in this. It's not a bad little tune, actually. I don't know much about this song. Well, it's a real origins, but uh, yeah, pretty good. Okay, we had an equal number seven. Yes. Down two. Honky Tonk, Bill Doggett. On its way down the chart, got to number two. I'd never heard this, believe it or not. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's uh, uh, I love the first. first it's in two parts. It's in your part one and part two. Part one is a more of a 
got some great guitar and then on the other side it's got more of a big band version of it yeah it's pretty good but equal seventh also down one place fats domino and blueberry hill got to number on its way down again got to number two number six here in the uk and what can you say about this track it's a classic one of my favorite songs from the 50s great um piano great song brilliant number six we had a nun mover this week from bing crosby and grace kelly princess of monaco and uh true love which is a song from high society of course got to number three here in the us and number four here in the uk um nice little song just a classic song from the 50s another song that oh, you got was played a lot because my granddad was into Bing Crosby and I just grew, grew up with these songs um, and I've got no problem with that one it's a nice song up five places in number five it's gone up at flies the Bingham far at number five up five places Guy Mitchell a singing in the blues on its way up to the number one also a number one here in the UK great little track uh, but my favorite version of this is Dave Edmonds I brought the single what a song that was okay number four down one place for mr. Elvis Presley don't be cruel um, had been number one in America reached number two here in the UK just more magic from um, Elvis just love this song at number three up one place a just a walking in the rain from Johnny Ray uh, only got to number two in America but was a number one here in the UK I like the whistling on this uh, what a great track okay there wasn't a number two which means there was an equal number one and we don't do many of them on these um, chart rundown so the first one and this was up one place so it was last week's number two another song from Elvis Presley love be tender now this only got to number 11 in the UK which is a surprise um, a classic I love this song uh, there's also that funny version where he laughs and loses the plot but as a trooper he carried on very funny version but this is a classic and the other number one and this was its third and final week at number one a track from a, called um, a track by Jim Lowe and it's Green Doll a uh, really good song yeah reached this song reached number one in, in America but in the UK it didn't the only time this reached number one in the UK was in 1981 when Shaky did it and he did a great version of it I love this song oh anyone that sings this is good there's been some really good videos of it so there we go 1956 but this is not the only chart we're running down today because next up is a birthday top 10 now birthday today is for Becky and as she's she's in America and as we did America last year this year she gets the UK top 10 on her birthday so another chart rundown to do so we'll see you later for that and it is getting dark although it is in the morning it seems to be getting darker okay I will see you later bye for now